Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Heidi. I do fashion hauls, styling videos, and lifestyle vlogs. And since summer is in full swing, I figured why not do a summer essentials video. I personally love watching those videos and living in Miami, I have to say, I have learned to navigate the heat because it does get really, really hot in Miami. So I figured why not share a couple of tips. But before we do that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's get right to the video. When it's hot and there's a lot of sun, the number one thing that you should think about in the summer is sunblock. And honestly, nowadays there's so many variations of it. Um, if you don't like the feeling of putting sunblock on, you could at the very least wear a tinted sunblock such as this one. But one of my favorites is La Roche Posay, and this is 50 and Thilios. I will go ahead and link it down below. Um, I'm actually running low. I never, ever, ever leave the house without this, ever. I don't just wear sunblock on days that I'm gonna be sitting um, somewhere where there's a lot of sun or being outside. I wear it all the time because honestly, you'd be surprised on those days where um, there's not too much sun around. It's a little bit gloomy, so to speak, and those days are probably the worst. That's one thing people don't realize is that the sun doesn't have to be exposed um, for it to really um, affect you. Sun rays will affect your skin if you don't protect it. So for me, it's so important to wear my sunblock no matter what, if I'm wearing a lot of makeup, if I'm not, sunblock is one of the first things that goes on my skin. And this one I really, really love because it's not super thick. It doesn't leave like a white film on your skin. It has a nice little glow and um, yeah, I highly recommend it. But I tried this um, Sun, Sun Touchables Woe Glow by e.l.f. And I actually purchased this because I wanted to do um, a video for TikTok. I think I was doing like content for it and I fell in love with this. I absolutely fell in love with this product. It's so beautiful. Sun protection and makeup primer. But honestly, it really does have a little bit of a color payoff and it leaves your skin so incredibly glowy, not greasy, glowy, because I do think there's a difference there. Um, and it does a good job of protecting your skin. I would say I would still put a little bit of sunblock plus this because I mean just I'm just neurotic like that when it comes to the sun but um, if you don't like to put too many things on this is a great option also if you're the type of person that doesn't wear too much makeup but you want a little something on your skin this is great because it does give you that beautiful summer glow and again it also protects your skin next up i have this beauty elixir by Caudalie, which if you follow me from the very beginning or you follow me on instagram you will have heard me talk about this time and time and time again since the beginning when i picked up my camera because this is just such a great great um mist for your face as you can see i barely have anything left um, I have to buy another one, but I just absolutely love this one. I've tried many and this is still the one that I keep um, going back to. It's just so, so great. It has a way of just moisturizing your face and just honestly refreshing your face. Obviously in the summer, it can get really hot and sticky and this is something great that you can just kind of throw on your face and it just feels so, so good. By the way, it smells like a spot in a bottle and I will say that when it comes to this, you either love it or you don't because of the smell. I personally think it's just amazing. For me, the spa smell is just the icing on the cake with this product because it just refreshes your face, which is perfect for the summer heat. And honestly, I wear this all the time and I love how it kind of keeps my makeup put. Just spray a little bit and chef's kiss. Next category I chose bombs because again if you follow me from the beginning I'm a huge fan of bombs keeping my skin hydrated and of course my lips as well I mean no sense in taking care of your skin if your lips are all cracked and just a hot mess and in the summer it's kind of like the cold sometimes it can sometimes really dry your lips if there's too much sun and believe it or not your lips are also exposed to the sun so keeping them hydrated is so so important and one of the ones that I love is this one from Ilia, which is the Lip Wrap Revolving Balm. And as you can see, I barely have anything left. This is another one that I have to go back and buy, but it's sold out so many times, um, but it's great. And the good thing about it is that not only does it moisturize your lips, it kind of gives you a nice little glow on the lips, which I like. Kind of like a lip gloss, but less, you know, 
sticky. <laughs> and then the next one is a new favorite of mine, which is this little, this little gal right here from Christian Dior. What I love about it is not so much the actual product, the product is good, but what I like about this is how convenient this is. I think this would be great to travel with because this actually is a lip balm, a hand cream, a body cream. It's one, um, one and all. It serves multiple purposes and I think it's great because again, you really wanna keep your skin hydrated. You also wanna hydrate your lips and that's great because let's say you're carrying a small bag or you're traveling and you don't wanna travel with too many things, you take this one, one little girl right here and she serves a purpose for a lot of things for your hands for your lips for your body and again it's so important to keep your skin moisturized because the sun will definitely dry your skin this category is one of my personal favorites because honestly i'm so obsessed with bronzers you can never have enough bronzers honestly and you may be asking yourself well you live in miami and what's the use of a bronzer right there's so much sun but honestly i always take care of my face the most i may be going to the beach i may get a little bit sunburn here but my face is the one thing i always protect from the sun i will never sit under the sun and bake my face never ever 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 <laughs> because you know it'll wrinkle your face you can have sun damage um, sunspots etc so I always take care of my face so one of the things I love to do to kind of make up for the lack of sun that my face gets is bronzer I love to have some color on my face and these two are my favorite I have the traveling size Chanel bronzer and this one is in the shade tan medium bronze and I love it it's really really good it stays put all day long and the best part is the size because if you're traveling again you don't want to travel with very very big um, products you want something that's a little bit easier to travel with this is a good size and honestly this will last you a pretty long time so um, I would prefer this one over the bigger one because again I can just toss this in my purse or in my traveling bag and take it with me but I have to say that ever since I've been kind of playing around with um, all my bronzers, I did a video on um, my summer makeup look or luxury makeup and um, kind of played around with both of them. I put a little bit of this one, a little bit of that one. But as I've been using them more and more, I have to say that my favorite is this Christian Dior. Um, this one is limited edition. By the way, how beautiful is the canvas um, packaging is so beautiful but the actual bronzer is just honestly my favorite um, it seems so understated when you see it in the actual um, package but once you put it on your skin it's just flawless on your skin it really honestly looks a little bit more natural than the Chanel one when I put the Chanel one I have to be a little bit careful because it can get a little too dark and the point of bronzer obviously is to like bronze your face but you don't want to overdo it to where it kind of looks like you have too much bronzer on and this this one right here is perfect because it's a little bit more natural it does deposit a beautiful color but in a more natural way it looks like my skin so highly highly recommend this one i will go ahead and link it and last item and like beauty i guess would be a summer scent I did decide to try this one from Victoria's Secret, which is called Basic Instinct. And the package is really pretty because it's very minimal. The smell of this is just fresh and clean, like just got out of the shower, just kind of powdery, but floral at the same time. It smells delicious. And um, I have absolutely loved this scent because I think it's perfect. I think for summer, you definitely don't want to wear perfume that is too strong or maybe like offensive you can wear scents that are a little bit lighter on the skin because you're going to be sweating a lot and this one's great because it is light it's a summer scent but at the same time it does last all day which i'm pleasantly surprised so definitely recommend this one it smells delicious all right so next category do i need to say more no not really <laughs> i went with the most minimal sunglasses because i do think when sunglasses are very, very minimal, such as this one, just like a very basic um, shape, not too um, over the top, not gaudy, and just like a very simplistic style, such as these. These are from YSL. It does have 
the logo on the side but it's just very very dainty and not over the top and the reason why i chose these very simple ones is because in the summer a lot of times you'll be wearing a hat or another accessory and so these go perfectly with hats it's not over the top i've seen some sunglasses that are very very big with a big logo and then you add a hat to it and then it's just it's too much it kind of takes away from each accessory and so i just prefer keeping it as simple as possible like these and just throwing on a hat and honestly looks beautiful together and the next one are these that i actually got from ann taylor these are not designer um, but i actually fell in love with the shape it's kind of like a can i um, they are polarized which i think is important obviously if you're going to wear sunglasses at the very least <laughs> besides the fashion statement you want them to protect your eyes and um living in miami i've learned that because here you cannot even get in your car and drive because you'll crash <laughs> the sun is right in your face so definitely look for sunglasses that are polarized and yeah these are super super cute this nice little shape on the side which i find very very feminine so yeah sunglasses must have for the summer so next category i have jewelry and the reason why i kind of went back and forth with um, including this in this video because obviously jewelry is something you would probably wear year-round right but here's the difference if you are living in a state that's a little bit colder and you're having to wear like a scarf or a turtleneck or just layers of clothes obviously you won't be able to appreciate your jewelry the way that you would in the summer because you're wearing less clothes for the obvious reasons um, so I figured why not talk about jewelry because I think jewelry is so much fun It really does elevate your outfit But I would say that definitely when it comes to jewelry in the summer you have to tread lightly <laughs> You have to be cautious because you obviously don't want to wear jewelry that's too heavy That's gonna make you hot maybe gaudy pieces because of the Sun and the heat and the sweating you want to pick pieces that are a little bit daintier easier to wear and if you do decide to go with jewelry that's a little bit um, maybe more noticeable, such as this one, which is a little bit more, I guess, modern than say the diamond I'm wearing here, um, you definitely wanna go with pieces that are not too heavy. This one is from Gorgiana or Giordana, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. And I love it because it's obviously very, very noticeable and beautiful, but it's not heavy on my neck. It's not something that um, bothers me, that if I were to go out and sweat a little bit, this is gonna be bothering me at all. I absolutely love it. I've been wearing this nonstop. So yeah, definitely keep that in mind. And of course, I have to include a watch. I just recently received this beautiful watch from Lola Rose. They were kind enough to send it to me and I have to say I'm <laughs> absolutely in love. Let me get up so you can see it up close. It is so, so beautiful. Um, I do wear a lot of brown in the summer, um, either with my belts or my bags because it goes so beautiful with all your whites and all your neutrals. So of course I fell in love with this beautiful brown belt. Um, and I just love how dainty this watch is. It's beautiful and elegant. So again, um, when it comes to a watch in the summer, if you decide to wear one, you definitely want to go with one that's like daintier like this maybe a thin leather strap a small face so that it doesn't kind of weigh you down or feel uncomfortable i absolutely love this one i'll go ahead and link it down below for anyone who's interested because it has quickly become one of my favorites okay so next category is hats and i have to say that this year for some reason i've really been enjoying hats so much more than usual i do try to wear my hats because again i try to protect my face as much as possible but i just feel like this season hats are everywhere it's such a fashionable um, accessory to have and to add to your wardrobe it really really elevates anything you wear i promise you um, i guess because i've been trying to wear them a little bit more because i've purchased some i've noticed how much it really does add so much to your outfit so I love that because not only does it look great, but it's also serving a purpose, right? It's protecting your face. I'm gonna start off with this one from ASOS. I really love this one. I got this one on sale and I believe it's still available, but this is just a beautiful, I guess, like straw hat. As you can see, it's very minimal in um, its design. It's just black with straw, but again, I have worn this one so, so much because it goes with so many things. 
and with glasses it just looks so beautiful um, that I'm absolutely obsessed with it I, I can't believe I've waited this long to wear a hat like this and then I have another one which this one is from H&M I love the three colors it has it's so functional like if you had to pick one hat I would say get this one because this one has um, the tan straw then it has the black portion and then the white beautiful these are three colors that I love combining in the summer keeping my outfit really neutral but just like classy um, and again you could wear this with so many things you could wear it with a cover-up you could wear it with a two-piece just such a beautiful um, combination and hat I think it's hard to find hats with this combination because trust me I've looked and it was so affordable I also got this on sale I'll go ahead and link it so this one I absolutely love and then I have another one which is from a company called San Diego hat company I believe and I purchased this um, last year but this one is very very beautiful um, this is the front and then here's the back I'll see if I can put like a photo that I posted on my Instagram with it but this one is so so beautiful and this one's a little bit the quality is a little bit better it's a little pricier but this is a hat that if you purchase one time you're gonna have for your whole life because it's great quality it's absolutely beautiful all right so next category I have this beautiful cover-up from Zara it looks a little bit lighter on the camera but it's a little bit more beige um, in person it's all the way down long I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like and I did get it in a size small um, I have to say that this year I have really been enjoying cover-ups cover-ups are so fun because you know obviously it's not just the bikini or the one piece that you're wearing it's also what's on top and I think last year I was just wearing maybe like those see-through pants that you wear with a plain bikini but this year I've really had so much fun kind of playing around with cover-ups and hats and I have to say it just again elevates your beach wear say you're going on a resort you're going from the beach to maybe have lunch you just throw this on and it just looks so beautiful so I absolutely love this one if it's not your thing to show maybe too much skin or maybe you don't like holes in a cover-up which is fine I think um, there's so many cover-ups nowadays that it could just suit anyone's taste but I always um, love cover-ups that are just kind of gauzy um, maybe organic materials like cotton maybe linen and this one is one that I have just been absolutely loving it's a beautiful long gauzy skirt very very lightweight it's honestly like being naked <laughs> it's so comfortable so flowy um, almost angelic and it's just beautiful and I also have it with the top part which is just like a little cover-up that you tie in the front um, with your bikini underneath and I love two pieces when it comes to cover-ups because if you're not wanting to put anything else on you want um, the least amount of clothes maybe it's too hot you just leave the skirt on with your bikini top and you're fine if not you can add this part you can also mix and match you could wear this with something else or this with shorts so it's a great um, wardrobe piece to have as a cover-up um, for vacation or just for going to the beach and this one I did get in Marshalls and so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find something like this but I'll see if I can link maybe similar ones um, Online. maybe I can find a couple because honestly a two-piece cover-up I think is a little bit more convenient than a one-piece because again you can kind of play around with the styling and mix and match so yeah I love it all right so next category I have bags and honestly bags are just honestly my favorite accessory they're just so much fun I feel like a bag really kind of seals the deal when it comes to your outfit it can make or break your outfit I really genuinely think that I think um, pairing up the right bag with the right outfit is really so important when it comes to picking out your outfits and I would say definitely go with um, bags that are organic material um, raffia straw um, bamboo you could have like a canvas bag which I personally love um, let me start with this one this is my Chloe bag and I purchased this last year and I'm so glad I did because it did um, kind of go up in price great investment so much better in person than it is online I purchased it online and so I was a little bit hesitant but um, this bag is just stunning the material is beautiful it's durable it's very very thick 
It's not a um, thin material. It has this beautiful bottom which you could just place. I did do a video um, talking a little bit more about this bag, my summer bags. I'll go ahead and maybe put it up here or link it down below. But I do talk a little bit more about this bag, but it has ended up being one of my favorite bags. I wear it with so many outfits. I've worn this with trousers and a silk top just as much as I've worn it with a cover up, shorts. It's just such a versatile bag and I love this kind of minimal design that it has. I have to say this is one of my favorite bags. Next bag is this beautiful bamboo bag that I actually purchased from Amazon, believe it or not. And um, I think I paid maybe 45 for it, but honestly what prompted me to purchase this was the Colt Gaia one, which I'm sure you've seen time and time again. Um, but I wanted to kind of try it out first to see if it would be something I would wear. Only because it is kind of see-through as you can see and that didn't appeal to me too much. But I've since learned that all you have to do is put, I'm gonna put my Sasan canvas bag. It's like a makeup bag. You put it in here and honestly, you can't even see anything. It's perfect. And I've worn this bag so much more than I ever anticipated. I am in love with this every single summer. I take this out and I wear it. I just, I feel like it just gives you that summery um, vibe and it's just this beautiful bamboo. I have to say the one from Amazon is great quality. It's 100% um, bamboo. But um, now that I've seen that I've worn this so much, I definitely think I'll be buying the Colt Gaia one because I just really, really love this one. This is one that I um, highly, highly recommend. I have this beautiful canvas bag from Michael Kors. And this is another one that really surprised me um, because I have worn this so much more than I ever anticipated. It's one of my favorite bags. Um, a lot more affordable than maybe my pricier bags, but definitely a bag that I feel is very, very versatile. And if you watch my channel from the very beginning, you know that I love, I personally love canvas bags. But I'm gonna get close so you can actually see how clean this bag is. I purchased this bag, I think maybe two years ago, if I'm not wrong, or a year and a half. And as you can see, it's pristine. It's absolutely perfect. There's not one single scuff, it's not dirty. Um, the great thing is the bottom is covered, so you can just place it, you don't have to worry about it getting dirty. But the reason why I showed you that is because I do know that sometimes people are afraid of getting canvas bags because they think they're gonna get um, dirty. Honestly, if you take care of your bag, um, which I personally do, you shouldn't have to worry about that. And if it is coated, which some of them are, this one isn't, but some of them are, you just take a little wipey and kind of clean it off and it's fine. But canvas bags look beautiful and especially in the summer. I wear them year round, but I feel like they're a little bit more reminiscent of the summer. I feel like it just goes better with your linens and your cottons. It just complements your outfits so well. And the other thing, the other reason why I love this bag is because it comes with um, a strap. So you can wear it crossbody as well. That's another thing I would highly recommend in the summer is getting a bag that serves um, both purposes and um, nothing better than a crossbody that can be a clutch at night. I've worn this with dresses, with shorts, um, with casual outfits. And to be honest with you, I haven't worn it much with the crossbody, but if I were to travel, I would definitely be putting the crossbody because I want to be a little bit more comfortable, have my hands free. Um, but in the nighttime, if you go out for dinner or something, all you have to do is take it off and wear it as a clutch. But definitely a beautiful, beautiful bag. And I had to include my beautiful Rive Gauche. Again, if you follow me from the beginning, you met her at the same time you met me because this is a bag that I've been talking about since it came out. Um, it's just my first canvas bag and it's what kind of created my love of canvas bags because they're just so, so classy and just beautiful and minimal. And I'm so glad I purchased this bag because it's definitely one of my favorite. I love the cream and the black and then I love that this is um, leather and if you're thinking of buying a canvas bag again take a good look at this bag there's not one single scuff or dark um, spot and again I've worn this time and time again I've worn this on vacation I've traveled with it and it's perfect I take really good care of it I do store it very nicely but again, it's just beautiful. And I like the size of this one because I think this would be great to travel with. It's a perfect size to take in the airport with you and then you'll be able to wear it um, on your vacation as well. So I love this one. All right, so last but definitely not least is um, the newest addition to my bags. And it's this beautiful um, coach bag. I absolutely love this one. And the reason why I decided to add a leather bag um, to the mix is because I know that some people are 
a little bit maybe more practical when it comes to their purchases maybe they don't want to buy a bag that's just for the summer but that will complement the summer as well i think this is a perfect bag i do know that if you purchase maybe a raffia bag or a bamboo it's a little bit more for the summer so probably you'd use it less but this is a bag you can use year round you can use it in the summer in the winter and again it has the strap for the day and you can take it off and wear it in a more elegant way you could just wear it like this so yeah love this one picked the simplest of shoes because obviously i wanted to make this video as concise as possible and if nothing else add some sandals to your summer wardrobe because sandals are just an absolute must-have i picked these because of the versatility of them this is um, a pair of sandals that you can wear with literally everything you could dress it up you can dress it down you could even wear this to the beach with your cover up and so i think this is great to travel with they're also very very thin where you could just easily pack these up in your suitcase without any issues and these in particular are from steve madden but i've seen these kind of um sandals pretty much everywhere i'll see if i can link these and also a couple more but definitely one of my favorite items this summer and the other pair of shoes that i decided to add to summer essentials are sneakers and i picked my beautiful axel arrogato and the reason why i love these is because of the simplicity of them they're a little bit dressier but again you can dress them down you could wear this with leggings you could wear it with shorts but you could easily wear this with a cute summer dress because it is um, all leather it's kind of minimal goes with absolutely everything and yeah i love these because if you're on vacation you definitely want those days where you want to go explore you want to be able to walk you want to look cute but you want to be comfortable a sneaker will be your best friend all right so that's all for my little um, summer essentials video i really hope that you enjoyed this um, do let me know in the comments down below if um, you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or let me know comment down below what kind of essentials you're going to be taking on your vacation or you like to take i would love to hear from you and of course if you haven't done so already don't forget to hit that subscribe button i really would love any support i can get so i can continue doing these videos for you and let's connect on instagram as well at house of heidi miami and i will go ahead and see everyone next time bye